so I did start doing this environment because um, my, my first thought was I'll make a video of me making the map um, and then just kind of trim it down edit it and then do it as one little video in the end um, but I thought instead let's just take you all with me so yeah so this is the main area everything behind this this is stuff I don't care about like it's not going to be seen on camera it's, it's unusable so as long as everything in front of this looks great in, the, in this square like that's that's absolutely fine what I want to start doing is trying to make this scene darker like it's I like the sunset but I kind of want to have more of a, a nighttime sky like if I change that light color to black it just does that <laughs> I can make it a little bit darker maybe One thing I do like to mess around with as well is post processing. Um, let's try that. Up the intensity of that to like 13. 12. It's going too high. It's going too high. 11. That does already feel better. I've not put a post processing volume in yet. No. This is kind of like an override sort of thing you can do in Unreal Engine. Um, so, infinite extend that so that just it just does it to every part of the map. Exposure. So if we dial that down ever so slightly, slow take away to see what kind of looks best. It's going to start looking a bit too dark, isn't it? But I can add point lights as well point lights and spotlights just to kind of light up certain areas that I want to do so to say it's like a circus what if I had like different coloured lights around that might be pretty cool because you can't see the doors on these I might like have the lights coming from around the back to make it look like the entrances around the back side so what I can do is literally get whatever um, colour I want um, get it the point of light somewhere out of sight like round here maybe um, what you never want to do is go full max to one of these because that's just unrealistic in life you just want to kind of have it gradually in one of those areas so we've got green we can do pink is that a bit too bright I might dial that down to be honest six yeah that's nicer that's nicer I might try and do something to make that a bit emissive, just so it, like if I'm seeing it from here, that's hard to spot to be fair, so I want something to kind of light that face up as well. I'm going to duplicate that and then just make it the radius of that really short. Dog the intensity down to like 2. Uh, I could do this with a... Um, spotlight instead of a point light. Let's put that to like 200. Let's put that to 1. That's a nice, that's a nice. And then from the angle, it just looks like it's just casting the shadow straight onto that. Hey, look at that. So you can just kind of see something men like a bit weird there. I've got these two characters at the front here, which are also kind of hard to see. Maybe I could have it as the balloons are creating these lights. Because if I did that, I could have a red light over there, that would be a blue light. That could be like a, a multicoloured light. Um, to make it look like it's meant to be somewhere inviting. But at the same time, you've got these weird uh, heads located around. So, let's give it a go. Let me duplicate this. What happens if I put it inside it? I don't want the radius to be that big to be honest. Just want it to be just hitting these two. And then obviously you want to change it to blue. Not too far into the blue as we've said. Intensity seems way too big. Too much. Um, it's hard to know that's coming from there. 
Maybe I can mess with the, the actual design of these because it's right there. What I can do instead is make the actual material emissive, which then would look like it's coming straight from that. So let's go into the material. Let's try. that to that oh that was way better already hey look at that success so then now that looks like a balloon that's just given off light so I'm just gonna make sure that looks a bit more realistic yeah yeah, yeah. that's alright that's alright that's alright so how's that looking yeah, so it kind of makes it look like the balloons are giving off light now, which is pretty cool. So yeah, I need to put some lights onto these. Let's quickly make these emissive as well. So we've just quickly learned how to do that. Let's get a times multiplier. You let's do point three again because it seemed to be fine. It might be better doing it more to be honest, but obviously looks different when it comes to the actual map. There we are. They are giving off little bits of light themselves already. Um, but I'll add, I'll add actual points of light to them anyway. Change that to a nice red colour. Up by 0 0.3. Let's plug that straight into the emissive colour. I would like to apply that. So that's more like just a, a white light. I'm trying to just duplicate it because it's got all like the uh, the right radius and intensity that I just want to keep. I just want to change the colour is all so duplicating is the easier way. I obviously need that cluster of balloons here now. And yep. Yeah, let's do it. It's just literally the same again. 0.3 Hey, hey! I don't need. I don't, I don't think I'm gonna do all the colours, but just enough to kind of help them shine. Let it shine. Right. Save that. Does that look a bit too bright? So what I can do, I can dull that down just a little bit. No point. It's just no point one. See about how that looks. Yeah, that was nicer. That was nicer. What you could also do, because um, it's night time, generally there's a, a moon in the sky when it comes to night time. I'm going to put another light in, but this time I'm going to do a spotlight. Um, that's actually going to be really high up here. I want it to kind of come down towards this way, because I'm looking over here. Do the radius. And it doesn't like anything right now because the intensity hasn't been changed, it's still the same. But if I start up in that, if I did it really bright, it would could just completely take over the whole map. That's like really bright, that's like a, um, <laughs> that's just intensity light, it's like a floodlight on the whole area. I just want a nice moonlight, so let's dial it down to like 100 maybe. I think maybe even that. I think these balloons to me now are starting to be a bit too bright, annoyingly, <laughs> because of that. Which, well, it's just what happens. But um, might because of the the cluster of balloons in the back, they look fine. So I might just quickly dial them down to 0 0.1 each. Um, so just bear with me two seconds. So they just look a bit better now. Um, let's just give that a look at 80. Yeah, that's nice. Right, like, there's enough light now to to look to see across the whole of the map. Because I've got my lights in this area, keeping it lit. These trees, the background, I could maybe darken that a bit more now, um, because I know that my actual area, that point of interest, is um, it's fine. So that's not point one map. Hey, hey, that's nice. I mean, 0 0.15, 0 0.12. Yeah, because I kind of want to have the trees in the back. It kind of, you know, I don't really want to be able to see past that 
I might add some more of these dead trees to be honest over there. That might be quite nice. So what I'll do make sure that's actually in the ground. I know you can't see it but I know it. Turn it, you can angle it if you wanted to. Get another one, make it smaller. Put it back all right. I've got some over the left side as well. Um, need to get an angle so I can see that face there still. Even on like a little picture, it's like what is going on there, but it's not. I'm not really making it look like a point of interest. So what I'll do, instead of having a light coming across the front of him, I'm gonna see what it looks like um, behind instead. So you'd be wary of my computer is starting to... Oh no, we're good, we're good, we're good. Right, let's try this again. There we go. That's a nice red light that I wanted. Make it look like it's coming from inside. The circus. The tent. Oh yeah, because then you've got the big shadow just coming up and it's like, what's that shadow over there? Ah, so I think that's my angle. So he's just he's just underneath the welcome sign. That's straight ahead of me. Yeah, that's nice. Quite like the grass is kind of coming across. That's quite nice, to be fair. I want to have some particles coming in now. Let's have it over there. Let's 180 it. Let's angle it down slightly, so that like it looks like gravity does exist. And what I don't want is it going through the tent. I want it to be behind the tent. Over there, slightly a bit more. Amazing. That might be cool with the the lighting. I'll tell you where that could be useful, the back, oh, back there as well. I'm gonna probably use a lot of the steam to be honest. Oh, that looks amazing already! Let's make that bigger. Where's he gone? There's a going man! Doesn't really make sense where it's coming from, it just kind of looks like it's coming from behind the clown, which. Yeah, it's fine. Just looks like it's coming out of the circus then. What does your dust flow look like? I think dust flow is what I was looking for the most. Flow! I kind of feel like flow would flow. What I mean? It kind of looks like stars if I'm honest, rather than dust. Like, if, what's my angle? Am I... If I deleted... Oh. Just flow two and three. Give me just flow one. Let me put you in the sky. Make it look like. I did that. Yeah, it looks like stars. Let's go. But now it looks like it's coming in front of that tree. That that, that tree. I feel like if I put it like over there. I'm just not going to be able to see it at all. Slot that to be the same. Let's try and make it bigger. Oh, there we go. I can see it now. That's much nicer. And then um, let's make more of it. Imagine using dust as stars. <laughs> Making it look like a really clear nice. You can't really tell that it's meant to be cloudy. Kind of over overpowering the whole cloudiness of the night. Amazing. Let's preview it. So this is the angle I think I'm going to go for. Quite cool. So you've got the stars coming in. Got some smoke coming behind the faces of the clowns. It could be jesters. I could be saying the, the wrong one this whole time. Oh well. Got some dust, got some leaves coming in the background there, nice. What I will do is going to get an ambient noise now. How can you tell it's the daytime? Somehow you can tell it's the daytime. Hey, thank you, Webby. 
To be honest, I might be alright. Because that's about as much as that's going on in the environment, and then I can just add some more sounds to that. Let's drag them both in. Yep. Ah! And then what I want to do is create a sound cue. So that's the ambient forest. Let's make a sound cue. And then the first thing I want to do is override attenuation. And then let's make another one for the tent noises. And then override attenuation again. And this time I might make this bigger. I want the sound to come from inside the tent, but I want it to feel like it's falling. I want the actual sound to fall off a bit. Um, let's make that like a thousand anyway. Let's see how that big that is. Haha, <laughs> that sounds bad. You can hear it. Let us have a look and see if we can't have another. Um, see if we can't find a laugh that's actually good. Make a blueprint. So I was going to make an actor because it's just nothing. I don't need to use it, move it, or anything. No. Um, BP clown laugh. Let me do it through an event. Timer by event. Custom event. Play sound. I'll do. Because the pitch. I'm going to do that again. And then have it between like 0 0.85 and 1.1. Five. The pitch will just be a bit different each time it's played now. Um, yeah, so let's just, I might just up that. That's fine now. I feel like I know it's working. That's all I wanted to do. So that's at least 10 seconds. <laughs> I feel like that's pretty much there then, guys, to be honest. So, um, nice. Well done, us. For now, I'm going to leave it there, um, and I will see you on the next stream. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in, and um, yeah, see you later. Bye-bye.